one of the challenges for me in writing a book is figuring out where to start. So with The Way of the Bear, the finished version starts in a place that was not the original start. And I had to do several, um, I don't know, several serious walks with my dog, Sally, to talk this over and figure out where, what was wrong and how to make it right. But in the end, uh, I think I did get it right. And the book starts out with Bernie Manuelito in Jeopardy, which, of course, Bernie, Bernie loves to be the hero. And I, I love seeing her in that, in that position. Another thing that makes The Way of the Bear a little different than the other books I've written is that poor Bernadette Manuelito has an exceptionally hard time in this book. Uh, and when the book opens, she's almost getting shot. She has to run for her life. And then near the climax, she gets knocked out. And I'm not going to tell you what else happens. But uh, anyway, Bernie has forgiven me for giving, for giving her such a hard time. And she will be back in the next in the next book, full of full of energy to solve another crime. One thing that sets the Way of the Bear apart from my other novels is that it is one of the very first times that Jim Chi and Bernadette Manuelito have worked together to solve a case, and it sort of happened inadvertently. They were going to Bear's ears actually trying to take a break from their work, and then one thing leads to another. Bernie almost gets shot. Uh, Chi discovers a dead body, and voila, they're, they're working together to solve a crime. When I, whenever I start a book, I know that I have to have Bernadette Manolito and Jim Chi in it, and Joe Leaphorn, and Bernie's mom, and Bernie's sister. But then beyond that, I need to come up with, with a villain, or more than one villain, and then a whole cast of supporting characters. So in uh, The Way of the Bear, I invented a character who I really uh, fell in love with, a paleontologist named Chapman Dulles. And besides be being a paleontologist, Chapman also has a soft spot in his heart for law enforcement because a long time ago, his sister was in a very bad predicament and her life was saved by a Navajo off-duty cop. So I really enjoyed writing about Chap. Uh, Chap has a, because he is a man of means, he has a security guard. And this is a guy, a Navajo guy, who's um, young, ambitious, trying to find himself, who's thinking he might want to go to work for the Navajo police. So again, writing about this character at a whole different stage of his life was really enjoyable to me. I have a couple women, strong women characters in this book. And then some other law enforcement people, a, a woman, a um, uh, coroner. Anyway, it's one of the joys to me as I'm starting to write a book is to kind of see who will come up, what characters will arise from my subconscious to help me tell the story. And in the way of the bear, I was really blessed with a, a good crew of fellow storytellers. Now, the other thing. Uh, this is the first novel I've done where I actually devoted a chapter to the villains telling it from their point of view. And I'm using there on purpose because I don't want to say he or she. I don't want to give away too much of the story. But it was really fun for me to do that. And I think it adds uh, another level of richness and complexity to this book. I like to think that every book I write is different and kind of has its own trajectory and has its, its own value for the readers. Also in The Way of the Bear, I'm able to use weather as a character. And I wasn't planning that initially, but as the story developed, it just seemed logical that the weather would be growing, uh, growing worse and worse as, as the story comes to a climax. So you have Bernie and Chi and uh, a snowstorm and terrible weather and I don't know what it is about me. I just really love making life hard for those characters. But they emerge uh, resourceful in the end, and so readers don't have to worry.